Okay, I'm John Shaffer, and this is the code for my game, Zombie Rush. At the start, uh, I'm defining some variables for the player. The angle is going to be uh, like pointing towards the mouse, so I used a function, a built-in function here to do that. Um, the image angle is the built-in like uh, angle variable. I separated them because um, sometimes it's easier to just type angle. Um, so the key variables, basically, they're variables because um, I add two of them together to see which direction the player's going to move. So if key up is one and key down is also one, then that means he'll not move at all because uh, they're, they cancel each other out, like this. And you can move up by pressing W or the up arrow key. And then I did that for all of the other directions. Uh, right here, it's setting the attack key, which can be either like just click or press space. Or it could be like hold down click or hold down space if you're using a weapon so you're supposed to like hold down key um, this is the reload key if you want to reload before you run out of ammo you can press E only for guns though uh, and when I do this keyboard check function it returns 0 or 1 if the key is pressed. Um, these are just setting the number keys so that when you press them it switches your weapon. Uh, and here is where he actually moves. Oh, oops. Um, and like it's kind of long because it needs to check if he's running into a wall. Uh, and then after this, I have the attack code uh, where this is basically the one for all the guns that they use. Um, and then underneath it is the one for the melee weapons. Oh, oh that's okay. got it. Okay. Um, and then here it will set the weapon. Go uh, back to where it says a global dot key weapon of seven or nine. At the bottom. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Now where it says uh, global, if so, global dot key weapon of three, explain that code if that should result in uh, true. So, um, like each weapon has a key associated with it. Right. Some of them don't because they're not equipped. Uh -huh. So, if the key for weapon 3 is pressed, then this uh, variable in this array will be equal to 1. So then this will run, and the player sprite will change so that he looks like he's carrying a grenade. Ah. Uh, he'll stop animating, if he was, because like the chainsaw has an animation. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want it, you can't have two animations at once. I could, but there isn't one for the grenade. Okay. Um, the weapon, like, number changes, mm -hmm. so that I know which one he's using. Uh, I stop the chainsaw loop, if, mm -hmm. if that's still playing, which I still have an issue with that. And then I have a playing loop variable that I just have to... And um, what do you suppose the issue is with the chainsaw loop? I, I heard it... When you were playing the game, it was, even though you got out of that mode, the, ch the chainsaw was still that was the laser was running, one. Right? Um, oh, the laser. Okay, th but they're similar. Uh, basically, because it's a loop sound, um, you've got to have to find a way to just break plays out of the loop forever. If I don't like stop it, do you do you know about the command break? Uh, yes. Okay, um, and that gets you out of the loop, right? Uh, for. Well, it's not like a code loop that's playing it. Oh, okay. It's just 
I set it as a loop sound, so it uh-huh. just constantly plays. Right. Uh, I try to stop it when you change weapons, but the thing is, if you, like, lose while you're using the chainsaw, then you don't change weapons, and then it doesn't stop the loop, and okay. then it just continues playing. Right. Um, well, that's something that we could, thing Yeah, go ahead, David. Yeah, Any suggestions? You, well, yeah, uh, for, like, the loop sounding, is there a way you can make, like, a function so that it checks if the game ended, and then if the game ended, it stops the sound? Yes, I can do that. I just haven't done it yet. Okay. Um, and I'll probably fix both of those over the break. Now, how long, uh, just so that the students have a rough idea, how long did it take you more or less to code this part of your game? Like this part with the weapons? Well, this entire file, for example. Oh, uh, so most of it was done on in the week for Thanksgiving break. Okay. But then I added in some weapons, and so I had to modify it a right. bit the next weekend. Right. And then... So about two weeks? Yeah. Uh, no, like a week and a weekend. Okay. Yeah. So, um, a, a, about a week and a half or so. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, and then now I'm just fixing bugs with it mm-hmm. before I add other things. Right. When I, like, added on the new weapons and the boxes and the different types of enemies, it caused a lot of bugs for my game. Right. So I had to spend a long time fixing all of them. Now, how would you rank Game Maker? With respect to something like Unreal, and maybe using Blueprint. So for Unreal, Unreal is great for yeah. 3D games. Uh-huh. Game Maker is much better for 2D okay. games. You can't do 3D with Game Maker. Right. You can do 2D with Unreal. Right. But um, if you do, it's still like a 3D level editor. Right. So it's kind of awkward. Mm-hmm. Um, and. Can you uh, upload your game, for example, to Steam with gaming? Yes. It costs okay. money, yeah. but you can. <laughs> you can, okay. Uh, but I used copyrighted music, so I have to change that. Right cool. now my friend's doing some music for me. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, and uh, this is only for the player. I have other stuff, but mm-hmm. right here uh, is where it shoots, and... The weapon, weapon 9, is like a shotgun, so it shoots more than one bullet. Right. So then it has to, like, shoot them at different angles as mm-hmm. well. Right. And then uh, subtract more from the magazine. Right. Okay, great. Okay, fantastic. Very good. Very good. Um, guys, any questions, any comments? This, this is very high level. I, I, I wish you all success with this game and... Just, yeah, it sounds to me like you you have a, you know, a, a, a fair amount of knowledge of C++, right? So, okay. Okay, great. Okay, thank you, John Ryan. Appreciate it.